Hi guys, so for today's video, I am actually going to be showing you a long lost reading vlog from back in October in which I was trying to make an attempt to vlog every day in October and just do like four like weekly reading vlogs throughout the month of October because I was really sad that I wasn't doing vlogoween on my channel this year. But then October just kind of went to trash. So after this first initial vlog, I didn't vlog anymore the rest of the month and so I ended up just never editing or posting this vlog but I didn't want all of the footage to go to waste like I hate wasting any kind of footage or feeling like I wasted my time and I did film for like a whole week so that was a whole week's worth of time of filming that I feel like I wasted if I don't post this video but I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of context as to what the video is about because I in the video I say how I'm going to vlog the whole month and then I don't do that so I thought I would just give you a little bit of context it's not going to be the most interesting video ever like the most interesting reading vlog I only finish one book in it and I start another book and I also watch Squid Game, which you hear me talk about quite a bit in this vlog as well. So if any of those things pique your interest, perhaps you will find this a little bit interesting, but I just wanted to give you a little bit of context as to um, the fact that you will not be getting any more reading vlogs for Vlogoween, which I continuously reference in the video. So yeah, without further ado, let's jump into the long lost, although it's only been a couple of weeks, reading vlog from my Vlogoween attempt. Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel and to another reading vlog. I feel like it has been ages since I have done a reading vlog. I definitely haven't done one since I have moved into this apartment because I've barely been reading, so it just didn't feel like a good time to do one, but I always have done Vlogoween on my channel every year in October. It's currently October 1st that I'm filming this, and last night I was like so upset that I'm not doing Vlogoween on my channel this year because I just don't have the time or motivation to make 13 videos throughout the month of October. Like I just don't have the time to film, edit them, and upload them every single week. So I wasn't going to do it this year, which was very disappointing because I've done it for like the last five years. But something that I've also done during Vlogoween is I vlogged my reading every single day of October and then split it into like four or five reading vlogs throughout the month. So I thought even though I'm not doing Vlogoween this year, I might still try and vlog my reading every single single day so that's what I'm gonna try and do and depending on how much I talk throughout these videos who knows we may end up with 13 videos at the end of the month anyway because there's still other videos that I want to film and post in October like I still haven't filmed my September wrap-up or my October TBR so those videos are still coming out sometime in October so who knows I may be unintentionally be doing vlogoween and I'll end up with 13 videos at the end of the month anyway highly unlikely but will remain optimistic over here so yeah it's currently October 1st I was very excited when I woke up this morning because yesterday was the first day we turned the heat on in my apartment and it was just really warm and cozy October and just like the autumn months is definitely my favorite time of the year for a lot of things but especially for reading books and I always save all of my spooky kind of books for this time of year and those are my favorite books to read so yeah I'm super excited for for this October and hopefully these reading vlogs go well. It's gonna be somewhere something between like a reading vlog and just kind of like my daily life. Like I always like to include the other kind of spooky festive things that I get up to throughout the month. Now that all of that is out of the way, that was a very long-winded intro, I should probably tell you what I am currently reading, which is the book that I just started this morning. It is called Poison for Breakfast by Lemony Snicket. I discovered this book and bought it doing something that I haven't done in a very long time and it felt very nice to do, and that is just browsing the shelves of Barnes & Noble and picking out a book that I've never heard of before and buying it and reading it. So of course I have heard of Lemony Snicket before. He wrote a series of unfortunate events which was one of my favorite book series as a child. So I was familiar with the author author. He, it's a pen name and he's kind of, if you've read a series of unfortunate events, you know that he's kind of his own character in the story. So I've obviously heard of the author before, but I honestly didn't know that he wrote any other books outside of a series of unfortunate events. So when I saw this, I knew I wanted to pick it up. Also, I find the title very intriguing. So this book is 
about Lemony Snicket and the kind of concept of the story is that he has eaten breakfast and then he gets a note slipped under his door that says he ate poison for breakfast and now he's kind of trying to figure out like who left him this note did he actually have poison for breakfast and is he gonna die and stuff like that in the kind of synopsis on the inside flap it says that this book is somewhere between a mystery and like a philosophy story and that definitely is what it is I'm only 55 pages into it and so far I'm enjoying it. It's a very weird story. If you've read books by Lemony Snicket before you know that he has a very specific way of writing and I don't want to say that he goes off on tangents but like the story definitely derails a lot so if you've never read Lemony Snicket before I don't think this would be a very good book to start with because I feel like you have to be used to his kind of writing to pick up this kind of book because it's just it goes off in lots of different directions and it seems kind of crazy at times, but I really enjoy it. So yeah, I'm only 55 pages in. I like have no idea where the story is going, but you never know with his kinds of books. So yeah, that is what I'm reading at the moment. I'm hoping that starting with a short book and finishing it in such a short amount of time will like give me the motivation to keep on reading. Like I said, my reading has just been very like inconsistent and all over the place ever since moving into this apartment because I've just somehow not had enough time to do everything. So I'm hoping that this month I'll kind of get everything back on track and also with making these videos, it'll help motivate me to read more as well. So yeah, that's all for now. I have to get to work, but hopefully I will update you again tonight when I finish this book. Hi guys, so it is now the second. So at this point, I should just know that if I ever say I will update you later tonight, that it's not going to happen, okay? And if you hear me say that at any other point during any of these vlogs this month, know that I'm lying. It's with good intention, but I'm lying, okay? I will never update you later when I say I'm going to update you later. So last night, I also... <laughs> didn't finish this book yet because last night I came home from work and realized that there were a bunch of chores that I had been postponing many days in a row and I just had to get them done. So I ended up coming home, doing a bunch of dishes, folding a bunch of laundry and putting it away and by that point I was just so tired from work and then doing all these chores that I couldn't really be bothered to pick up a book or the camera last night. So what I did end up doing was actually starting a new TV show and I'm hooked on it. So any chance that I had of reading this month is now non-existent because I'm hooked on a new TV show and it happened completely by accident because I do not like keep up with new TV shows that are coming out, especially if it doesn't have like an actor that I really love in it, or if like the only ch think way I would ever really find out about a new TV show is if I happen to see somebody post about it that I follow on like Twitter or Instagram. And I don't even go on those that often anymore. And with the way that they're formatted with like the algorithm or whatever, I barely ever see what people are posting that I actually follow anyway. But I actually stumbled across, I must have been the trailer for this new TV show on Netflix on the like explore page of Instagram and I thought it looked kind of interesting but I didn't know what it was and I didn't bother really looking into it and then for whatever reason I was on Netflix last night just kind of browsing and I saw this TV show that is a Korean like thriller show on Netflix called Squid Game and at first I kind of went past it because I saw that it was in Korean and I just don't have the brain capacity to watch things with subtitles like I cannot concentrate on reading subtitles and watching something at the same time so I was like I can't do that right now so I ended up passing on it but then I was like you know what I'm gonna give it a chance because the visuals of it like when I would, would see the trailer on Instagram there was this one particular clip from it that I would see that looked kind of like they were in Dr. Seuss land. Like there were all these colors and stairs and doorways and I was like this is really visually appealing to me. So I ended up giving it a chance. Turns out they had like an English dubbed version so the words didn't match their mouths moving because they were obviously speaking Korean. I was watching the dubbed version but I still ended up watching it and oh my goodness I am hooked on this show but also Squid Game has to be one of the most disturbing shows I have ever watched and that's very shocking coming from me <laughs> because like I watch so many different horror shows. I watch them by myself at night. I go to bed 
and I, it like doesn't phase me but this show I was up until like one o'clock in the morning because I could not stop thinking about it and just like how somebody could ever come up with this idea and the fact that I think the thing that weirds me out about it the most is kind of like midsummer like how you know it kind of turned horror on its head because all of the disturbing things happened during the day and like everyone is wearing white and flowers in their hair and like there's green grass and blue skies and it's kind of the same in this tv show where there's these bright colors and shapes and everything is like hidden behind this like kids game looking thing but there's all these horrible things happening but there's like happy music playing in the background i think that was the thing that weirded me out about it the most and was like the most disturbing to me and i just loved it at the same time so i'm kind of hooked on watching this show I already started episode two this morning before I went to work. But yeah, that's where I'm at right now. I came home from work this morning. I did also, I woke up, I had a cup of coffee. I started reading a little bit more of my book and now I'm on page 100 exactly. So I have about 50 pages left. I'm still enjoying it. It is a little bit slow and it definitely is more of like a philosophy kind of book rather than a book with an actual plot so for me it's a little bit more slow and boring than like a series of unfortunate events where it was mostly plot based with like you know the author would still go off on these kind of like little tangents whereas this book is just absolutely filled with it like we are constantly going off track and uh, it's a little much for me but I'm still enjoying it and I do like the weirdness of it so yeah hopefully I will definitely finish this tomorrow morning before I go to work actually I don't have to go to work tomorrow what am I talking about I will hopefully definitely finish this tomorrow and then I don't even know what I'm doing tomorrow apparently so yeah that's where I'm at right now. Maybe I'll read a little bit tonight, but I actually think I might be re-watching the first episode of Squid Game with my mom because I want her to see it because she will be equally disturbed as I was. So yeah, I kind of want to see what her reaction to it is. So yeah, that is all for tonight. And I will not say when I'm updating you next because that's just a sure way to jinx myself. Hey guys, so it is now the 3rd of October. I actually just finished filming two videos. I filmed my September wrap up, which did not go very well. I had a very hard time like summarizing my thoughts in a way that made sense. So I'm really hoping that in the editing process, I will be able to edit it into something that is comprehensible <laughs> to be honest with you and then I also filmed my October TBR which always usually goes okay I definitely prefer filming TBR videos over wrap-ups like I'm honestly considering in the year 2022 not doing wrap-ups on my channel anymore because I just I don't enjoy doing them for whatever reason I feel like weekly vlogging would actually be a lot better for me because I can actually remember my thoughts in real time and just summarizing everything at the end of the month by that point like half the books have already left my brain so those are my thoughts on that as far as my reading goes i am about 30 pages from the end of poison for breakfast I actually might be only about 20 pages from the end i have to be frank with you this book is probably going to be like a three star rating because it is kind of boring like there's not a lot of plot happening this book in this book it's very much like philosophical stuff. It's trying to make you think. I don't have the brain capacity for thinking right now, so it is a little bit boring for me, but I still do really appreciate his writing. Like, I still think this is a very talented author, but it's just, like, not my favorite book of his. I will say, however, that I do have a very big urge to reread a series of unfortunate events after reading this book, because even though it's not my favorite, like, the the writing style is so specific that it's almost giving me nostalgia reading this book for a series of unfortunate events. Like, I'm getting nostalgia from that series even though I've never read this book before. And that was very confusing, but hopefully it made sense. So yeah, that's as far as my reading goes. As far as my TV show update, I think I'm on episode like five or six of Squid Game and I am still really enjoying it. I am watching it on 1.5 speed so I'm getting through it a little bit quicker than I probably normally would and my mom is also watching it. We watched the first episode together last night and like she didn't love it. She wasn't as disturbed by it as I thought she was going to be because when I was like explaining to her what it was about she said that it kind of reminded her of Saw which she does find those disturbing um, but I think because we're watching the dubbed version, which I've come to realize that apparently everybody else is watching the original Korean audio with subtitles, 
and I do think that that's probably the better way to watch it but like I said it's not I, that I have a distaste for subtitles but it's just that I can't concentrate on the subtitles and watch at the same time like I just I can't read that fast and like neither can my mom so we're both watching the English dubbed version and while it's still good and I'm still really enjoying the show it does at times make it seem kind of silly and that could be because I've never watched a dubbed tv show before like what it reminds me of to be frank with you is like those bad lip reading videos like that youtube channel where they always do the bad lip readings and they're always humorous obviously and that is a bit what watching the dubbed version of this show reminds me of um especially with like the women um narrators like i feel like they didn't pick voice actors that like match the characters like a lot of the guys i think that they sound okay but for some reason with the women, like, it, like, seems super silly, and I don't know why, but it does take a little bit away from the disturbing factor when it's almost, like, a little humorous at times. So, yeah, but nonetheless, I'm still really enjoying it, and I saw that there's going to be a season two, supposedly, so I'm really intrigued to see how this is going to end, because it seems like something that would be, like, wrapped up by the end of this episode, but clearly, uh, by the end of the, this season, but clearly, like, something is going Going to happen to leave it at a bit of a cliffhanger so I'm really excited and it definitely is taking a bit away from my reading like I think I would have been done with this book by now if I hadn't started that TV show but nonetheless that is my little update for the day and again I'm not going to tell you when I will update you next and we'll just see what happens <laughs> hey guys so it is now actually the 5th of October so yesterday was just a day. <laughs> I I really woke up trying to have like a productive morning before I had to go to work so I like made myself a lovely little cup of coffee. I even edited and uploaded one of my videos that I had filmed the other day and I also ended up finishing Poison for breakfast so I felt like I had a pretty productive morning and I thought it would lead into a productive rest of the day so I went to work and then when I came home from work I just like completely crashed. I was feeling really overwhelmed with everything and I just wasn't having a very good night so I wasn't going to force myself to film because at night is usually when I have time to update you in these vlogs. So yeah, I didn't end up filming at all yesterday, but like I said, I did end up finishing Poison for breakfast, which I ended up giving three stars, which is a bit less than what I initially thought I would have given it. It just isn't really a plot based book which is what I thought it was going to be going into it just based off of having read a series of unfortunate events I thought it would have more of a plot line to it and it really didn't. I did like the little like twisty part at the end like once you kind of figure out the mystery of like who left this clue and did he really have poison for breakfast and all of that. I thought it was pretty clever at the end. So I did enjoy it. I would still recommend it. Like I'm pretty sure I said the other day, I don't think I would recommend this to people if you're not already used to Lemony Snicket's particular kind of writing style, but if you've already read from him before, then I would totally recommend picking this up if you liked what you read from him before, that is. Um, and then this morning, I actually started another book. Well, actually, last night I also finished Squid Game since we've been talking about that show quite a lot in this vlog. I thought I would tell you that I ended up finishing it, and I can't believe that I have to wait who knows how long for season two. Like, I am genuinely so intrigued to see where the next season is gonna go like I am so excited but anyways my mom also finished it like she was hooked on it she was a little apprehensive at first and I think at some part she found it a bit boring but she was definitely invested in the characters so she finished it as well um but then this morning I ended up starting another book I decided to pick up Arsenic and Adobo this book was um sent to me from the publisher quite a while ago and I'm just now getting around to reading it it is a cozy mystery book in which we're following um our main character. I'm only uh, 12 pages into it so I don't really know much about it. I did end up reading the back at one point and I think we're like following somebody um, as she's kind of trying to help. Um, I think it's either her aunt or her 
grandma's failing restaurant I'm not 100% sure yet um and at the same time there's some kind of mystery that happens that I'm gonna assume she has to solve also like I said I'm only 12 pages in because I had to go to work at 10 today which is a little bit early for me usually I go in at 11 but when I have to go in at 10 my sleeping schedule kind of cuts into the time when I would usually be reading so I didn't read too much today but so far it's a little slow to start so I'm a little bit bored but I'm also very hungry like there's already been a lot of food descriptions in this book only 12 pages in and I can only imagine how much more are going to happen throughout the rest of the book so yeah that is where I'm at with my reading so far I don't know how much further I'm going to get in this tonight or if I'm even going to read any more of it tonight if I'm being completely honest with you I just threw in a load of laundry and it's already pretty late and I'm very tired from working all day so yeah that's where we're at right now I think tomorrow will probably be where I end up ending this vlog but we will see hey friends so it is now the next night I just got home from work and I am here to update you on the fact that I have nothing to update you on I think I probably read about five to ten pages of arsenic and adobo on my break at work today and I don't even have the book with me to like show you because it's still in my bag that I brought to work I'm still not super into it but I'm also like 15 to 20 pages into it so like the whole mystery part hasn't even really started yet so I'm hoping once we get into it a bit more I will start to enjoy it more but I'm probably going to give it until like the 50 page mark and if I'm still not enjoying it by then I'm just going to put it down because I don't want to land myself into a reading slump during my favorite time of the year for reading but right now I'm just like struggling to find time to actually pick up the books so yeah I also came to the realization this morning that it is in fact not the fifth like I thought it was it's the sixth and tomorrow is my mom's birthday so I have to wrap her presents tonight and I'm also going to try and like speed clean my house as well so and then tomorrow I'm gonna like spend the whole day with her so I don't think I'll be getting a whole lot of reading done within the next day or so so I think I'm going to end this reading vlog here but I've come to the realization also that I have not done a single montage in this video so I hope you all enjoy this montage of me wrapping my mom's presents Wow, that was so much fun. Okay, so that brings us to the end of this reading vlog. I, as per usual, come to the ends of these videos and feel like, wow, that was not very interesting to watch at all. So sorry about that. But on the slight chance that you did find this enjoyable, please give the video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Bye.